Hello everyone, this is King Kunal-T. This video I will show you our new product. We have designed this KCH68A128 so that there are many GPLs. This is a crazy bird because I think you can only find this bird on the market that based on the ESP32 have so much GPLs that, that have 128 channel of digital input and 128 of channel of output so that totally you will have 256 channel of GPLs so that will be enough for you to use for home automation DIY uh, the whole house will use this board uh, for any input and output and this board also support write code by the Arduino IDE and also support the home assistant uh, by the ESP home because uh, last week uh, this board not supported by home assistant but this week the home assistant have new update that will support this A128 board so that's very lucky I have tested with the home assistant and the lid I will uh, let, let's look at the hardware details and how it works with the home assistant okay let's begin okay let's look at this board you can see here is the PCB board that is in front side and here you can see also have many components on the back side so that's very huge you can see here and we can see the size uh, you can see the size and also we can change it to inch And let's look at uh, this size. And change to each unit. And hold this hole here. Okay, let's look at some parts details. Here you can see we have used the ESP32 module, and here you can see that is Ethernet. And this is USB for download, and that is reset uh, for this ESP. And this is download button. Actually, you not need to use this button uh, because we have auto download circuit. So this can use a function for define your uh, by your code and here you can see that extend uh, several ports uh, that is two txt and xt you can connect with the hmi display and you can see here that we have four channel of analog input that for uh, two channel is zero to five voltage input and the two channel is four to twenty mini ampere as for analog sensor that is this is to ground and this is for is485 for mod bus uh, for long distance use and this is power supply that is dc 12 volt uh, power supply or also you can use the 24 volt of the power supply and here you can see there are many green terminal that is digital input so digital input one Two, three, four, five, six. That will until to. That is the last one. Is one hundred and twenty-eight. So this all have used for the digital input, and this can use long distance. This this uh, this terminal from your switch or from your sensor that max support one thousand meter. So this will be very long for enough to you use. And here you can see that is digital output. Uh, you can see uh, this have output. And this is output one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, until uh, 64 output. And this began uh, 65 output. And until to 128 output. And here you can see some LEDs indicate because when the 
The output is on and off. There are some uh, LED indicates that is red. And you can see here, also have LED indicates that have no side. So this is for digital output. And then here you can see the two, two white circuits. That is I square C bus, uh, this bus one and this bus two. So you, you can use I square C device for extend uh, this extend for temperature sensor or humidity sensor or some I square C device. Okay, this is the plug hardware. And look at the back. Uh, you can see also have many components. Okay, you can see. If you want to install this board on the dingler, so you can see this class fictic. This is the shoe I have installed on the shoe. This shoe will also support install on the ding wheel, just like this, so that you can so that you can install on the power distribution box. Uh, so this is the back, and this is the in front and the ground. So you can see this is the part, and this is the part with the shoe. Okay, next we will install this part uh, to our power distribution box and work with the home assistant. Okay, let's look at how to integrate this A128 integrate to home assistant. You can see here we have used this KC68 server that have installed the Raspberry Pi inside so that I have also installed the home assistant inside of it. That is A16 part. So this this time with our home assistant, you can use this really output as a really output. And also we can integrate this part on the home assistant. And then let's first uh, we look at the how this wire. You can see this is the power supply. I have used a 12 volt power supply. And this is the network cable that I have connected with my load. Or you can use to connect to your switch. And you can see the 12 volt I also have used uh, connect with this uh, every eight channels first terminal that have the power supply for every eight channel, so that uh, you can use this uh, such as this for twelve volt, so that every channel output will have twelve volt when it's on, and also you can use this uh, for twenty four volt, so that every channel output will have a twenty four volt when turned on. Because every eight channel have independently the power supply, so that uh, if you use this uh, twelve, and this eight channel will output a twelve, and if you use this for twenty four volt, and this output channel will be twenty four volt. So you can use any uh, volt of this uh, V in that is power supply in, and we will have different. Different terminal will have different the power watt output. So this is flexible for you to control the different power of your load. Now just for the demo a video, I have connected all with the 12 watt. So that you can see I can install uh, this terminal and connect with the 12 watt together. Okay, let's look at the PC software. Now we can see this is the home assistant dashboard. This dashboard we have created uh, for many parts. You can see I can turn on this output one two that is controlled by this uh, server and this relay. This contact the three four is this relay. I can also you can see this A16 channel that is for one and two, three, four. So this I can turn on or on and or off for A16. And this I can turn on and off, or on and off for this board. Now I can use this new board. You can see I can create this dashboard. You can see that is for AI and that is for E16S. And this time I have created for 128 channel. You can see here that is the input light one. I can screw and until 128. You can see I can turn on one, that is on, and two, and three. And you can see I can also, you can see I can turn on. That is very beautiful. 
Okay, you can see here is on. Okay, now you can see the 128 channel output is all on. And now I can turn off, you can see I can click this off. And you can see the bulk uh, every channel is become off. And also you can see I can turn on, uh, you can see uh, this is my screen. <laughs> screen is all off, all on. And I turn off. And my screen is all off. So there are so much output. Okay, let's test off the digital input. I can use you a while and shoot for digital input one. You can see this is ground. And this is channel one of digital input. You can see in Home Assistant. That is on. You can see this is input one is on. And I shoot for this is number two. You can see that this is number two. Okay, let's test with this input of 128. So that we can check whether the home assistant can deal with so much CPLs. So this is 128 at here. You can see this is ground and this hole is 128 you can see when I shoot for this that is on so it's perfect uh, the home assistant can work with this board okay this is for input and output and also there are some analog input uh, you can integrate to home assistant and if you want to in integrate this board to a home assistant you can see in our form we have post uh, the config file you can click this and you will find with the A128 board that the GPL L pin defines. You can see uh, which pin have used and which pin used for x c And also you can see the config file we have upload. You can just use directly. You can see, you can download this config file. That is a YAML file. Oh, that is very long. So you can just download and copy and paste to directly to use. And also you can see uh, our board is open source. So you can, if you want to use the schematic, you can see here. Uh, this is schematic, uh, you can just click and you can check with this circuit. That is all details because this ACLS board is open source. Okay, and here you can see our PCB design. Uh, you can see this is 3D version and uh, you can see this board. And you can see uh, this is back and in front. Okay, this is a home assistant I uh, use for this part. I think uh, it's very enough GPLs for you to use. Okay, thanks for watching.